that's Muffalo. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Good. Hello, hello. Good. And today we're gonna draw one of the world's most famous Muppets. Can you guess who that is, Muffalo? Is it me? No, no, it's not no, you. No, it's not me. Okay. It's Kermit the Frog. Kermit the that's Frog. That's right. I'm gonna show you yeah, how to draw yeah, Kermit, Kermit the Frog, the Frog using nothing but numbers and letters because that's the Muffalo Potato Way. This is the show where I teach you how to draw anything in minutes using nothing but numbers and letters. And of course, I ask the immortal question: Why can't everyone just be more T? This episode, of course is brought to you by Lipton Tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you, you don't have to say Lipton, uh, Lipton Tea if it's not your paid sponsor. <laughs> but that's none of my business. <laughs> okay, you need three things. You need a pen, you need a piece of paper, and you need to watch me because it's not easy being green. Why can't everyone be more tea? You gotta stop saying that. I don't understand. Huh. Well, can you do any better? It's not easy being red. No, that just sounded like you, bro. Okay, so we're gonna draw two things to get started here. We're going to draw a perfect zero, just like this, and then just a little bit beneath it, a C, about the same size as the zero. These will be both of Kermit's eyes. It'll all make sense very shortly. So start right here, okay? So let's first draw a nice, Big zero, about as perfectly as you can do it, just like that. And beneath that, let's draw a C. See how it's a little bit off to the side like that, but it feels like you were almost drawing another one, roughly the same size. So that's O, C, or zero C, if you will. Now I wanna draw a V, nice big V, a little bit at an angle, coming down, closing off that shape, and heading back in this direction. It's gonna be Kermit's upper lip. If you wanna round off the bottom of that V, you can. Muffalo, does a round bottom V make any sense? No, a round bottom V doesn't make any sense, John. Right on cue, folks, here we go. Put your pen here, go down, 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 down. Just round it off a little bit there so it's not super duper pointy. Back again, there you go. There is your V. Now inside we have to do Kermit's eyes and Kermit's eyes are as easy as drawing a zero and then putting a one through it. We have to do it at different angles, okay? And it's not too big, so we're gonna draw a zero here. We're gonna put a one through it at an angle. We're gonna draw a zero here and put a one through it at this angle. And of course, color in those zeros, okay? Now you've got the telltale Kermit the Frog eyeball. Uh, right at the top where the V ends, I want you to draw a lowercase n just like that. And coming across this way at the angle and touching here and meeting the V, we're gonna draw a skinny diagonal J. I know it sounds confusing, folks, but look, it's, it's not that hard, okay? Look, here's a normal skinny J. Come on, John. And boop, <laughs> there's a diagonal J. I got marbles in my mouth. Shabba da da bing, you know what I mean. All right, so let's go here. Put your pen here, down at the angle and curve back around again. There is your skinny diagonal J. Now right where both these shapes sort of meet, I want you to draw a capital A. And I want you to draw it skinny and straight up and down as you can, just like that. Put the crossbar right in the middle there. There's your capital A. Now I need you to turn the page all the way around, upside down, just like this. Big old spin there, okay? We're gonna draw a C, thin C, like this, from the top of that J to just about this area, right around there, okay? Thin C, it's like a curvy one. And then to connect these two shapes, I want you to draw a wide V that's rounded at the bottom. Muffalo, don't say it. Yeah. John, a round of V doesn't make any sense. I know it makes no sense, it's okay. Right, Here we go. V, down, 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 curve, and back again. Sweet, turn the paper straight up and down, guys. We are almost finished. Two W's, pointy ones, right next to each other. That is Kermit the Frog's telltale collar, yay! Look at him, he's drinking tea. And uh, beneath that for his body, let's just do uh, a one like this, and a one here. Um, from this shape to his lips, we are going to draw a lowercase u. It's gonna be a little bit at an angle. Make sure it touches both parts of the A. Do you see what we did right there? When we drew and designed this, because the level of liquid is always the same with the earth, so that part of the A makes the top of the T that's in his teacup. Huh? Who's smart, Muffalo? Me. You're right, it's not me. Two L's right next to each other for his skinny little arms. One here, just like that. The other one beneath it, just like so. Now that little line that comes down here from the crossbar, just continue it a little bit there, and then you can draw a little 
tag if you want for Lipton tea. Brought because this episode is brought to you by the delicious taste of Lipton tea. John, don't say, John, don't say Lipton tea. They're not a please sponsor. Don't say it. Stop. I know, my boy. I know. Guess what, folks? Ring the bell. <laughs> Boo! There you go, because you just drawn Kermit drinking Lipton tea using nothing but numbers and letters. Now I'm gonna color them in at high speed, just like this. Boop! Boom, there you have it, everybody. Why can't everyone be more tea? You know, it was difficult to draw uh, color Kermit in. <laughs> Do you know why, Muffalo? I don't know why it was a difficult color in Kermit. Because it's not easy being green. No, no, that's not funny. Oh, come on. That's funny. Guys, really? Yeah, it is a tough crowd. Come on. Oh, I got a tough crowd here. Um, but that's none of my business. <laughs> Guys, I hope you had fun drawing Kermit. Send your Kermit drinking tea in to me, John at MuffaloPotato.com. Make sure you ask your parents' permission first. If you're gonna post it on Instagram, make sure you hashtag it Muffalo Monday so I take a look at it. Write in below and say hello. Let me know what other Muppets you want me to draw because there's a whole bunch of them. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. It just needs to be more tea. More, more tea. tea! Yay, more tea! <laughs> See you soon, bye-bye. I am Kermit the Frog. It's not easy being red, being red. The Muffalo Potato Store is now open for business. Come on in. Backpacks, t-shirts, that spells awesome in my book. Perfect for holiday gifts, perfect for any time of year. Now you can dress just like your favorite drawing show. There's a good chance you're gonna look cooler than me. We've got Muffalo Potato stuff. It's exciting, and you can buy it.